So you have all these plans to make a beautiful site that will get a lot of web traffic. But what about a domain name? The first step in picking a domain name is to choose something that you won't be embarrassed to write on a future job application. Maybe you want a pun of some sort. I can't blame you. Puns are fun and easy to remember. Maybe you have a more serious approach? Try something succinct or informative. Maybe you want to have your personality shine through. Love Taekwondo? How about Taekwondo Jang dot dot? So you know your domain will need a name, but had you already considered your top level domain? Here at UMW, we only allow you to choose from five top level domains dot com, dot net, dot org, dot info, and dot us. Traditionally, dot com domains are reserved for commercial entities, dot net for service providers, and dot org for nonprofit organizations. But you needn't abide by tradition. Dot com is easiest to remember because most people will assume a dot com top level domain. Once you've decided on a name, you'll need to verify that it is available. To check a domain's availability, we recommend using whois.net. This is where differences in top level domains can make an impact. Say taekwondojang.com is unavailable, but taekwondojang.us is available. If you're set on your domain name, a simple change of top-level domain could solve your issue in this case.